About seven years ago, 2008, 2009, I rediscovered uh, a load of drawings and a load of comics that I did when I was a kid. And my dad actually handed me a bundle of stuff in a, an old Quinsworth bag. And he said, these were in the top of the wardrobe. Oh, where'd you, well, how'd you get those? And he says, oh, well, you told me years ago to throw them away, but I didn't, I kept them. And I found a load of the comics and I was looking at the comics and I saw the Star Wars adaptation, which was actually done at the time that the phenomenon was gripping the world. Between 1977 and about 1982 or 1983, I managed to adapt the whole film several times. I was nine when I did this one. This was the first one that I did after I came back from the cinema from seeing Star Wars. And it was so special that I actually, uh, instead of using a biro, I used pencil for this one. What those comics really were for me, it was kind of like a, a message. They were telling me, hey, this is what you were supposed to be doing. You know, you, you wanted to be a comics artist. So um, it's been a bit of a long process. And after a few years, uh, I've now actually ended up doing a brand new comic and I'm publishing it online and it's called Between Wars and between that sort of funny time between World War II and Star Wars hitting. What I'm doing now is I'm just roughly sketching out the, the layout for this new comic page to see whether the layout works and whether the story um, flows well enough. Take that then and I'll bring it over here and I'll put it into the scanner. <laughs> Today I actually um, took these sketches that I did, scanned them in, I've got them on the computer and I've been inking them on the computer with the graphics tablet and I've been colouring them. So this one here of Jim is uh, pretty much finished and I've put it into the, the web page. Like comics are really taking off in Ireland at the moment. Uh, there's so many comic creators and so many great comic creators. You don't need to go through the old-fashioned route of doing comics where you had to go through a publisher, like you had to work for Marvel or DC or one of the big comics publishers. And you, so if any young people want to do web comics, um, you know, don't, don't worry too much about the, the quality of the artwork, you know. Allow the style of your work and the way that you do your work come out of your own personality. The way it is now, it's very easy to go onto the internet and browse all of this great work. And in some ways that's inspiring, but in other ways it's actually very intimidating. So you're better off in some ways just focusing on your, your own work and letting it form itself from your own unique personality and your own way of expressing things.